Uh, welcome to Drill Podcast. I am Dr. Brady Smith. I'm here with Wilfred Padua. Am I saying that right? Padua. Padua. It, it doesn't matter. You are really close. I'm terrible. Man, these are really close to my eyes. Yeah, there sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we're going to uh, get you high and uh, uh, clean your teeth. How do you feel about that? I uh, will see. <laughs> I am so shocked you even agreed to be here. So I'm just grateful. Yeah, this I'm is. Just, I'm just happy. This is the wildest morning I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, back you go. Some people get high on oxygen. Uh, oxygen only? Yeah, they used to do like oxygen for it. In the same way that people get high off of like Ojul's non-alcoholic beer. We get four deep cleanings in one year. Yeah. A lot of these things in one year. Well, they were like only doing one section at a time, and I also have not been doing that for years. Okay. They suck the deep cleanings. Uh, oh yeah. The worst part was when they tested your uh, like I don't know that thing that you guys do when you poke the gums. The probes. Yeah. The oh dental, my god. The periodontal probings. That was the worst. For sure. Some dentists are a little more aggressive with their probing, and they shouldn't be. Oh, she was very heavy-handed. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> I've never been this high or tried to be like this really before. Well, we're gonna knock out two of these things in one day for you. Yeah. You know I can tell you're Asian because your teeth? What? I can tell you're Asian because your teeth. You couldn't tell before? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but even if I only had your teeth to look at, really, totally. What is that? There's different, uh, there's different tooth designations, I mean, there's different shapes of teeth um, in different ethnicities. Oh, really? So lots of times I can look at the teeth, if I just had the teeth to look at, even x-rays. I think cool. I think and it's also, cool. Also, I think a lot of people in Portland would be like immediately offended. No, for that sure that, for, for sure I'm gonna get some paint mail. How dare you? No a person's race. Judge his <laughs> teeth, judge his race by his teeth. Well, mm -hmm. I was right, so there's that. Is that they are of very differing uh, strengths. Oh, for sure, one hundred percent. Yeah. One time so, I ate one, and I was uh, I didn't realize how strong it was. Thankfully, I only ate yeah. like a third of it, but I ate at like seven p.m. Okay. And I was high until three p.m. the next day. Oh jeez. Well, I had to go to work. Oh and, like, geez. Was high at work. And like freaking out. This was before when I was working at a middle school, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, they're all lost causes anyways. My band, I, I'm in a cover band. And we used to do Beat It by Michael Jackson, and we don't do Beat It anymore. Oh, yeah. We, we, don't, don't, do, we don't do Michael Jackson tunes anymore. Well, there's like a, uh, a backlash to the documentary. In support of Michael Jackson? Yeah, because they didn't do their research. Like, there's something about, and I'm not taking a stance on this. Yeah. Uh, Something about how like uh, when the kid was getting molested, yeah, one of them, like the dates were off. There's a gray area. That's all I know. I'm I watched the documentary and it made me feel icky. Oh and yeah. And I now when I listen to Michael Jackson songs, I feel icky. Dude, do you see a lot of celebrities in New York? Uh, Just like walking around? I saw Paul McCartney. No. Yeah. What's he famous for? Uh, he had a little band called the Beatles. I used to work at J Crew. And like Paul McCartney like came in to this place like across the street. My friend saw Andre 3000 come in. Oh, that's that, cool. To me, that's bigger than Paul McCartney. Oh, <laughs> that's, your, that's your Paul McCartney? Yeah. Paul McCartney. Yeah. Andre 3000. Andre 3000. No. Uh, I've never been to New York, but I all I would do is look for celebrities. I think no. I was at the PDX airport and uh, I saw the dad from Little People Big World. Do you know that show? Bunch of uh, dwarves. Their family? Uh, I don't know that show either. Little people is uh, correct. No, you can say dwarves. You can say dwarves. I don't think you can. No, I think you know who Brad Williams is. Brad Williams know, told Brad. me. He's a he's a little person. He told you that? Oh yeah, Brad Williams. I know Brad Williams. Dwarves, dwarves is an acceptable term. Okay. Yeah. yeah midget. Is. Midget is not. Can't say midget. I feel like dwarves is the worst. I'm telling you what. I don't know why they. A full fledged, yeah. bona fide dwarf told me. I I, I like that right. Seattle, you know, like people from Seattle and Portland think they should be like movie styles and shit. So I have right. my little uh, way of cinemaphiles. Yeah, I believe is what they call them. So. I had my cinephile, cinephile. Cinephile. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I had my wave of that when I was in college. I was better than 
<laughs> How long did that last? I still think I'm better than everyone else. But Good. For reasons. Good. <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you different. Pretty little snowflake, tell a little cupcake, tell me now, what's your problem today? Some set you off, really piss you off, did you not get your own way? Well, I know a way, we can settle our differences today, I can show you, I know a better way, cause my dad can totally beat up your dad. My dad can totally beat up your dad. Five along, your dad is Pepperidge Farms. My dad's strong like Hercules. Your dad sits down when he pees, cause my dad can totally beat up your dad.